So you must have wondered what Checo does to make his tyres go 15 laps longer than everyone else. Or what are the drivers doing when their engineers ask them to extend a stint? It's a science of minimising wear on the tyre whilst keeping lap times up as much as possible. This is counter to how it normally works. The faster you go and the harder you push, the faster your tyres let go. So that's where the driver's skill comes in. I'm going to break down exactly how the drivers are braking, turning and accelerating to keep their tyres alive for longer. Let's go. Firstly, to understand how the drivers save tyres, we need to chat about how they wear. There are a number of ways that all depend on the tyre and the conditions. The simplest way is in simple wear, basically running out of rubber. This happens fastest with softer compounds or on harsher surfaces. And that makes sense when you think about how tyres create grip. Even in smooth race surfaces, there are small peaks and troughs in the surface, maybe only a couple of millimetres wide, and rubber squishes into these gaps. These these bits of rubber then grip the track and allow the tyre to produce traction forces. But as the rubber does this over and over, some of the rubber breaks off. Now if the tyre is at a good operating temperature, this happens fairly steadily and in quite a predictable way. And on a side note, that is why softer tyres create more grip, because the rubber can get further into the surface, but wear faster because the material is weaker and so more rubber is torn from the surface. So to reduce wear, there are a couple of things you can do but we'll get to that later in the video. By the way, do you wanna see one of my biggest mistakes when I was racing? Well, if 10,000 of you subscribe in the next week, I'll put that in the next video. So the other main way tire performance falls off is down to degradation. And this is about controlling tire temperature. And this gets complex. So for this video, we're going to simplify it a little bit. Essentially, it's when the tire gets outside its optimum temperature range. If you get your tires too hot, then the rubber wears faster and can even start to melt. Once this happens, you're going to be shedding rubber quickly, which is very, very bad for lap time. You can have issues with the tires also being too cold so the core isn't up to temperature and the tire will slide across the track. This is where you get dull spots on the tire called graining. Sometimes you'll also hear the drivers say that the tire is opening up. However, you can save a tire that is doing this, but it is difficult. Sometimes you can wear through the graining stage and sometimes you can get the tire core up to temperature, which also clears it up. But this is the sort of thing that will ruin your stint as it really hurts your lap time. So it's important to drive in a way that brings your tire up to temperature carefully and then maintain maintains that temperature throughout the stint. So how exactly do you drive in a way that saves tires? To run through this, imagine your Checo and your engineer has asked you to extend a stint 20 laps past where you thought it was going to be. So what do you do? Well, the first thing is that they will be very careful not to make any mistakes. And of course, that sounds very obvious, but a single lockup or a bit of wheel spin will ruin the tire saving you've been doing for a few laps. Incidents like that will really heat the surface of the tire, which will then increase wear through the next few corners. So it's a double-edged sword. It will also really hurt your lap time as you're going to need to tiptoe for the next few corners. Now, providing you're not making mistakes, it's still not going to be enough. So we need to reduce wear. First, let's talk about the rear tires. So to reduce wear on the rears, you need to be very, very careful on the throttle. A good example of this is Checo back in Sakir 2020. He had to extend his last stint a lot to make it to the flag and in Sakir the rear tyres do the heavy lifting as there are lots of heavy acceleration zones. If you look closely he's braking a little bit earlier than Russell who wasn't pushing at this point but also not hanging around. But the main thing is in the traction zones. He was very careful on the throttle just trying to save those rears. It's only very subtle but that's where Checo is great. He has incredible feel for the tyres and track surface. He knows when he's pushing the limits of the tyre. It will be carefully reducing the tyre wear only slightly, but this compounds lap after lap after lap. He will also be very careful in the high speed corners, trying not to slip the rear of the car at all while it's loaded up with aero. So then for the front tyres, and this is a different technique altogether. First and most obvious thing is that the driver will need to be really smooth on the steering wheel to limit wear. They will also be very, very cautious on the brakes. As I mentioned before, one lockup and all your hard work is undone. Then there are a few more complex techniques. The best example of this is Lewis Hamilton at Monaco in 2019. This was the race where he had to hold Max behind after being out way too long 
on the mediums. Here we're looking at early in his stint where Lewis is heavily saving for later on in the stint where he knew he would need the fronts for turning around the tight Monaco circuit. Here is a really extreme example. The blue lap is where he is saving. The white is where he was pushing to maintain the gap to Max. This was of course before he started parking the bus to keep Max behind. You can see that into the first two braking zones he is earlier on the brakes and this is to limit the heat being put into the tyres so the wear is lower on turning. He will also be a lot gentler on the brake pedal as well. Then through the first sector you can see that the apex speeds are lower. On the surface this looks like the car has less grip but at this point this lap the tyres are fresher than they are on the fast lap so what exactly is going on? Lewis is just reducing the speed he takes into the corner and so limiting the load on the front outside tyre, the one that is doing all of the heavy lifting. By being gentle on this, he is limiting the wear when the tyre is hurting the most. Through the faster corners, the outside front is loaded up with a lot of downforce and so is having to produce most of the turning force. So Lewis manages this really carefully. Look at the swimming pool section. Lewis is taking this much slower to protect those tyres. As I mentioned, this is an extreme example. Often drivers will do this in a much more subtle way. Checo often does this by just a couple of miles an hour. So he doesn't hurt his lap time too much, but he can save the tyre just a little bit each lap. In Turkey last year, we actually saw this in person. We went to see the Grand Prix from turn one, and that was a race where the track never really dried, and everyone was extending their intermediates. Checo was noticeably steadier through turn one to save his front right, the tyre that really matters around the anti-clockwise circuit. Throughout the race you can see much more tread on his tyre when compared to any other driver on the grid. So that leads us onto the real wizards at this. Checo, Lewis and sometimes Max. They're the drivers who have a real feel for the tyres. They have developed a super sense for when the tyres are hurting, feeling when they slip or are loaded up heavily. Then they can drive just below that limit only in the corners that matter the most. So they will be making judgment calls through each phase of each corner on every single lap as the tires wear. Let's say there is a corner where the tires are really working hard. They will be making the judgment call as to whether sacrificing a tenth or two in this particular corner is worth it. They'll be asking themselves questions about how much time they'll be losing or whether they should be pushing through the corner, just to try and understand whether saving that extra tire life is going to pay off. Then on top of that, they will be using each of the techniques we spoke about earlier, but in tiny amounts throughout the lap. They will test this through practice, then use them in the race when they need to save the tires for a battle at the end of the stint. And it really is an art form, knowing when to back off ever so slightly and when not to. Always being smooth on the power and not scrubbing the front tires in the slower corners. You should check out this video where I break down Daniel Ricciardo's driving style and explain why he was so fast at Red Bull but they're not so fast at McLaren. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.